Hi everyone, it's svgcoop.com with a training video for you and we are going to be working on our Halloween uh, 8x8 mini album and we've already done the cover and binding. Um, now our next thing is going to be working on the actual pages and pullout tabs. It's just the basic page with the tab in it so then we can add on all of the extra fun stuff afterwards. Um, since I already made this one, I'm actually going to be using Christmas paper. So it's uh, not exactly Halloween, but it's going to be exactly the same book. Which is nice because once you have one, you can actually do it in any theme you like. Alright, so what's going to happen is um, there's going to be a PDF file that will tell you which pieces, how many to cut of each piece. But we basically need four pages. So you're going to cut four pieces that have the score line. It's going to be piece number one, and you're going to cut four sets of piece number two and uh, that's going to be our pockets then you're also going to cut one set of the tabs there's five tabs and although there's four pockets the middle tab we're actually going to pull out and use that for one of our other um, pages and then we're going to stick these inside our pocket folders you're also going to make four sets of the different square sizes. So you're going to have a, a backing, a, a second layer for your pockets, and then you're going to have a backing and a second layer for your tabs. Um, so we're, we're going to just we're going to put those all together. Now we did do a video on how to make the cover and the binding. So right now my um, my binding and my cover are all set. Uh, and you can see it's ready for us to put four pages on, so that's what we're going to be doing now. All right, let me put that aside for a second. All right, so uh, I put a couple of the pages together already, and we're going to, I'm going to go through one of them with you. So with the piece that has the score marks on it, you're just going to fold your paper where the score marks are. Basically, we're just making the pocket. I'm just going to use my bone folder here. And you want to fold in all three sides. And get it so that it's nice and clean here. Okay. And then our third side. Okay. Now, then what you want to do is we're going to put a bead of glue on two of the sides. So you're going to do the top and the bottom. And that's when you have the fold, the third fold to your left. Okay, and you're going to glue on your piece that matches the size. It's uh, your piece number two. So we're just going to glue that on there and it should fit perfectly. So you're only gluing two sides. And I'll show you why in a minute. So get that nice and give it a good rub. Okay, so basically you're going to have your opening. That's where our tab is going to fit in. And then you're going to have a second opening. Now the reason um, we have the folded side in here uh, is because you have an option with your book. And that is if you wanted to make two sets of tabs instead of one set of tabs, you can double the amount of these pieces and then I'll show you what I mean and then what you can do is have uh, eight tabs instead of four so I'm gonna pull my binding back out and I'm gonna open this up and what we're gonna do is we want to get our pages on here now I, from the last video we put, used the this red tape and we put it along our hidden binding in here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take this piece. I know it might be a little bit hard to see because this is black, but we're going to take the piece that has the fold in it. And we're going to peel away the red tape on both sides of our first page. Okay, and this stuff is super sticky and very strong. So what you want to do is we're going to actually open up our book page 
see if you can see this. I'm going to kind of open it up like this and get it inside so that it it's so that that tape is on the inside. And then what I want to do is I actually you want to try and center it and you want to also make sure that it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Like give yourself maybe an eighth of an inch from the actual bottom of the binding and then just give it a good rub. Okay. Good rub on both sides. Now that's our first page. So I'm going to do that with the other two. So I'm going to grab the piece with the pocket. Again, I'm going to pull the tape off here. I'm going to hold it like this so I can see. I'm going to get it over my binding. And then I just want to kind of lay it down so I can see. And you want to center it inside your book. Get rid of the tape. Okay. I need longer fingernails so I can get rid of this tape faster. All right. That's what you call mom hands right there. All right. And you want to make sure that your flat side is up, okay? Because that's where your tabs are going to come. So we're going to just lay that over again. it up here and center it and stick it down okay now my last one it's actually kind of a bit of a boo-boo but I decided that sometimes when you go with a boo-boo it turns out to be a little bit better so it's what I'm going to do is this one, I actually, I was starting to make the video and I glued all three sides. So you can see my back side is, I only have one pocket here. And I did two of them like that because they're silly. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put some glue, and this is an option that you have. I'm going to put some glue around here. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to lay the first one down. Make sure you have the opening up. <laughs> I almost put the opening down. Make sure you have the opening up. And I'm going to get this on my binding. And then with my other opening this way, I'm going to actually glue this to match this piece. And I'm going to glue these two together. Almost giving me like a double page. So, as my mother would say, that was like a little happy accident. So now I'm going to have two pockets here where I can um, stick in an extra tab if I want to or anything else. Okay, so basically now we have our book and we have our four pages. Okay, so what we want to do now is um, you have the pieces to decorate these pages. And basically all that is is you're going to take your base piece. And you're just going to glue your base piece on and then you're going to glue your decorated piece on and then you have a nice background for each one of your pages okay and then you're going to do the same thing for your tabs let me just do one of these first so just going to put some glue on the back here And I'm using um, scotch glue. It dries quickly, which is nice. So I'm just going to get that centered on my page. And I'm going to glue this one on.
Okay. Now the thing is, um, you're cutting the uh, base pages and and this piece for all of the pages. Um, I would maybe wait to glue these in because when we look at our original book here, um, you know, I put a I put a, a piece in here, and I have the pieces in, that go along inside here, but. Uh, you may or may not want to um, wait for that, so uh, you can you can glue them down if you want to, or you can wait until after we get all the other pieces done. Uh, it's not it won't make that much of a difference um, when you come to like this page, for example. Uh, you're going to have the backgrounds here, but you may not. Um, you might want to wait until after we have these pieces in. So. That's totally up to you, um, but I'm going to, in this case, finish covering all of these with my pages here. Oops. All right, so I'm going to finish putting these on here like this and get these covered, and then I'm also going to get my tabs covered, and then we will be back with our next step just want to show you where we are right now so um, you saw me put in our pages and I just went back in and I put my base and my design pictures so I just wanted to let you see how those pages looked and how yours should sort of look now and I also glued on the layers to my tabs so basically what we're going to do is at this point I'm just going to open these up and stick my tabs in my book. A, that way I won't lose them, and B, it makes me feel like I got something done here. So, I'm going to get these tabs in. And they fit in nicely. Okay, I'm going to get this one in. Now the one thing I did want to tell you, the reason why we're not using the middle tab, not only is it because we're going to use it in another um, page that's coming out of the top, but this way if you want to put a clasp on your book to close it, you have a gap with the tab so that that way um, you, know, you, you won't have a tab in the way to keep you from being able to close your book. So right now we have our pages with our, our backing and our tabs. And our next project will be, the next uh, video will be how to do the inside cover piece. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back.